Uh, tomorrow we will uh, practice at their field because only three of our young ladies have actually played in Gainesville. So that's going to be an adjustment for you know, most of our young kids. Um, I know they'll have great crowds the whole time. Um, it's a great SEC atmosphere there. And you know, the other thing about that is we go back in May for the SEC tournament. So this will kind of be like a, a little um, preview of what's to come in May. I think it's great preparation for Super Regionals and Regionals. Um, to play a ranked opponent every week is tough, but it really is going to prepare us for later in the season. I think we just learned how to fight back this past weekend. Um, we were down in Sunday's game, and you know, uh, Monday's game was really tough offensively until the fifth. So I think we just learned how to continue to fight throughout games. And then obviously, you know, we got two really good starts from Kilfoyle on Sunday and Monday, and. Uh, I know for a fact that Montana will be ready to go. And you know, we've had pitchers in our history that if you throw a two hitter, she's gonna come back and throw a one hitter. And if she throws a one hitter, she's gonna come and throw a no hitter. And it's just been that competitive back and forth from day one. Um, I think it's just gonna take uh, a good start from our pitcher, good defense and timely hitting. Murph always tells us that, so that's what it takes against any SEC opponent. Our mindset is just to attack early and often um, and try to put runs up for our pitchers, definitely. There's probably going to be a mistake. There's going to be strikeouts. You know, there might be a bad call. But you don't dwell on the negative. You uh, get past it, you learn from it, and then you move on to the next pitch. And I think in SEC play, especially on the road, if you can do that consistently, you'll be fine at the end.